A very warm welcome to Oxpoon, your technique magazine with Wolfgang Rudolf. Hello, I would like to welcome you very well. Today I have something very extraordinary, in double meaning really. There's the hardware which I would like to show you, but also what you can do with it. Didn't you always want to look into the future? Well, maybe not in every future, but yes, in the near future. We all want to know what happens tomorrow, next week, week after next, or next year. Well, so far it does not go. How can you do something like that? Technic can help us today to know the future of Technic devices and simply overwhelm us. Most of the things that go broken in the, in the car, at home, in firms, big machinery halls, conditioned through friction, we all know when somewhere the lubrication is missing, then we have more friction and it gets warmer, and you get wear in and the surface goes broken. And this you can recognize before. And wouldn't it be great to drive it to your holidays, 1,200 kilometers there and 1,200 kilometers back? And you know before if any weak points are there, if somewhere or other a bearing is not okay, if something indicates that something is going to break. All these things which in private usage are probably very useful because what is left has been in Spain and the motors broke or the gearbox, they are essential for big firms, there where machines are running and must work. There if one falls out there becomes great cost and this you can with thermal cameras, thermal cameras not to be confused with night scanners. So I've made a picture and if we look at it there is a person and we see a wrong color illustration. We'll come back to that soon. There's a thick jacket which lets out less warmth. It is dark. The head is very light because there goes lots of warmth lost. And the trousers are a bit thin and the feet we can recognize there. And there's also warmth lossage. There are trainers, just to say. So and when we look further on, we have the next picture and we see here only the head. And there you can see that at the neck it suddenly stops. There's the jacket. That means you cannot look through the jacket, but only see the heat. So, and now we come to what is heat exactly? Heat is light, as we know it. But light in the areas which we do not see. That means our sight starts at violet, blue, green, yellow, red, and after that it is infrared. Infrared is in fact not a color. We can't see it. We want to see it though, because in this middle infrared, we have near, middle, far, infrared. There are different frequency areas. That from what we are talking about is about 8 till 40 micrometer. Or we can also say 37 till 21 terahertz. That is the frequency of the wave line. But how can you describe something you cannot see? And that is why this light is pulled over into the visible range. So we have elements, micropolymeter, because with these the heat rays are recorded that are thin layers with only a few micrometer strength. They would be warmed up and resulting out of this there are charge transfers which can be measured. And that you can give back electrically and make a picture of it because there are single picture points. These single picture points correspond, though, to a black and white picture. I have recorded this view range from which I spoke, but if we really look at the pictures to the right and see a black and white picture of pipes, and that is a normal picture, and left I can see this picture in a wrong color imaging. Here I can clearly see, so light it is, so yellow it is, then so high is the temperature. And that is now this too. But these colors do not exist, why do we take them at all? As you can see, the right picture, the contra contrast isn't good enough, that we can see fine temperature steps. And the human eye will consist of 125 million dots, which are responsible for black and white, and about 7 million taps, which are responsible for the color. We can all, though the amount of taps we have, distinguish 60 gray steps, colors, we can up to 20 million, 
different ones distinguish, then it's clear. 60 steps to 20 million steps is a colored field much craft fuller. Is a colored field much craft fuller. So we have, a, have another picture. We can see an electrical distribution, and at the top three thick cables go out. And at the left, in the wrong color illustration, we see very finely the temperature distribution and which points the temperature is at its highest. Well, you can clearly see here flows electricity, here the cables get warm, and exactly so with machines, which turn somehow and everything what turns and rubs and rubbing causes heat, and we can see over a long period of time if it changes, if it gets warmer, on one part as another, and that should suggest that somewhere there is some sort of wear, and with that comes to a fault or a complete failure, so a view into the future we could save a lot of money. So, now I have a PCE TC30, a thermal camera, which is a one-hand operation device, and very nice to handle. And from the operation, no demand to the operator. Everything is very easy, with six buttons. You can reach the menus. There's everything clearly explained. We went up, packed it out, took it, and started to work. And then, naturally, I had a look at the instructions. But there were no secrets in them. A very efficient device. So let's have a look at it. Here on the side we have first a cover. There's a USB connection underneath. Above it you can charge the built-in batteries or use this USB connection to transfer pictures which are saved in the camera to the PC. Here's the focus. There's the trigger to save the pictures. Here at the front is the lens covered. Behind it is the thermal sensor. On this side is no secrets. And now we have here a display. And in this display shows the resolution from the recording element. And it is 80 times 80. Whereas the display itself is 320 times 240 recordings. But we have here left and right, so colored representations to assign the colors and the temperatures and so forth. For example, here at the top, the reflection degree, and at the bottom, soft keys, the menu, and this key, and the outdoor, this key. Here we have a cursor whipper for going into the menus and so forth. So that is everything, more or less. I can also do spot measurements or surface measurements. I can see minimum and maximum. I can also save it. So let's make a few pictures. Pay attention. First of all, I go here onto the keyboard of my PC. And as you can see, the front of the keyboard, there where the cursor block is, there the temperature is at its highest. Why? I've got no idea. It is over 50 degrees Celsius. It was shortly 52, 53. Well, that is interesting. I'd never thought that. There would nothing go broken. I will go now to a higher temperature, because this device can go from 0 to 150 degrees Celsius. So when I go up a bit to one of our spotlights, as you can see, there's the temperature, 182. If I didn't say shake so much, we could see it better. But anyway, at least 180 degrees Celsius. And the flaps around it are much cooler. But I, when I go on to it, you should not touch them. <laughs> Just hit, they get a slap. So with this I can very quickly and very efficiently work. The device just took it in the hand, turned on and look. What does it look like? Where have we got thermal problems? What has changed since my last measurements? And then I know if my machines are healthy 
or if anything is on the way. I have this morning, as I came to the studio, had a look at my car. And as you can see, here on the PC, you can see the radiator. And in the middle of the picture is the headlight. And there, where you can see the cross, is the gap between the wing and the radiator grill. And as you can see, heat is coming out. This is about a quarter of an hour after I parked it, and the heat is still coming off it. That means it isn't very tight, but a car is like that. So a very easy to use complex device from the technology and a tool that really should not fail anywhere. A thermal camera from PCE, the PCE TC31. Here at the top it says maintenance tool. And that is the really right name for it. Maintenance means really that machines should be checked and to see if they have changed in anywhere or if anything is developing. We have the possibility with it to look inside walls, for example, in heating pipes or electric cables if they are overloaded. We have the possibility, for example, to look inside the machines without having to unscrew them. If in a gearbox on a certain spot like the gears are worn and through this more heat is produced, thousands of things. So it's unbelievable everything that can be seen with it. I'll open the lens and show it to you from the front. That's what it looks like. I can adjust it manually. And the device here, a one hand device with a relative clear operation. When you look in the manual it is all naturally described good. But you don't need it. You push the on key, it takes a moment, and when the temperature sensor is stable, the picture comes. If you have taken the lid off, the lens, then you can go through the menus. It is all self-explained, simply very professional. A device which is wished by every measuring instrument. So, what can it do? It has a resolution from the sensor of 160 to 180 picture dots. When I look here at the back, an LC display, high resolution color display naturally. And on this I can see all parameters and read them. See in real time the temperature. That is the edge of the keyboard, a lot of heat comes out of it from the processor and similar. When I look around the room, even there we have different temperatures. Or onto a little spotlight, there as you can see we have a relative high temperature. With this device you can not only one point measure but a whole surface. You can also measure two points and represent. I can remember minimum and maximum with the device. I can naturally read these values out. I can do recordings. The built-in memory is enough for about a thousand pictures I record. 64 megabytes are in it. And I have my wrong color illustration that I can very fine differentiate. A few pictures are recorded. We can see running in the monitor. And as you can see, here a light in the hand is very clear to see. As well as the temperature. Then here my keyboard again, which astonishingly lets out a lot of heat. Itself is not very warm, but the air which comes out is very light. And for example, some sort of power supply, the plug socket. Or even people. And there you can see that you can't look through the clothes, only the bare skin you can see, and that is right so. So, a measuring device of the top class. I got to say I've measured lots with it, measured the house, heat and measured and so forth. Pipes looked at, where it, is it warm, where not, why is the radiator not getting warm, what is with the ventilator, if it would fall out one day. I found one where one bearing was not okay and it will probably break in a short time. A universal measuring instrument for prevention maintenance to recognize damage before it happens. So let's have a look at the accessories. What have we there? 
There is a reserve battery with a corresponding charger, all the connection cables and power supply for it, and it comes all in a very stable case, a plastic case. I have jumped up and down on it, and as you can see, it survived. So we can clearly say that with a thermal camera nowadays, nearly all technical areas can be monitored and see if anywhere damage is on its way. Because when it is there, a machine stands still for one, two or more days, the damage is much bigger as when you have a device such as this. And have a look now and then, when anything suspicious is. Or when with your own senses nothing is apparent, if anything has changed. It is totally great what technique today can. You can with such devices your own senses extend. Places where we cannot see, with such adapters we can see things however. And it is made real pleasure to walk around in freedom to look where does heat come from. The door at the top, at the bottom, on the side, which car has just been parked, is the tire hot? I can do everything with it. I have a significant extent of my senses, my seeing sense. I have to honestly say, I have talked to people about it. They have said, no, don't know about it. If they were thrilled afterwards because you can't have it easier with a value for money, but very efficient device to check your own work, where problems arrive, and I have to say, I can't understand any professional businessman anywhere that doesn't have a device like this with him or by his workers, the electrical shop, installation firm or whatever, I don't want to live without it. That is why I won't go without out of the studio. Bye.